As roller coaster enthusiasts, we love to rate roller coasters. And sometimes these roller coasters get a very bad rating when they don't deserve it. These are the top five most underrated coasters I've ridden. So at the number five spot, we've got Pandemonium at Six Flags St. Louis. Now, yes, it is a family coaster, but I absolutely love spinning coasters. My favorite roller coaster is a spinning coaster, and most of the spinning coasters I rode are in my top 25. But out of all the spinning coasters I rode, except Time Traveler, Pandemonium is the best one. The restraints are comfortable, spin absolutely a crazy amount, and it has a fun layout. Now at the number four spot, we've got Wodan Timber Coaster at Europa Park. Now in terms of GCIs, a lot of people talk about Mystic Timbers, or that one in China that's on the side of a mountain that looks really cool. But probably my favorite GCI of all time is Wodan Timber Coaster. If you watch a POV, you can just tell how fast it is going. It's also probably the smoothest roller coaster I've ever ridden. And of course, the theming at Europa Park is absolutely amazing. So if you combine that all together, you get a great wooden coaster. At the number three spot, we've got Mamba at World of Fun. When people talk about Morgan Hypers, it's usually on a negative state. But I absolutely love Morgan Hypers. And Mamba is probably the best one because right now it's running trimless. The whole ride is packed with airtime except the helixes, which give some good positive G. Yes, the valleys from the airtime can be a little rough and a little bit painful, but if you put that aside, it's a severely underrated coaster. Now, when you think of California's Great America, what do you think of? Railblazer? Gold Striker? Grizzly? I mean, no, nobody thinks about that when they think about Great America. Maybe Flight Deck? But I think... Not the best coaster at Great America, but a severely underrated one is Patriot. So Patriot is the second ever B&M, and in 2018 it got the floorless conversion, which probably made it a better ride. I never rode it as a stand-up. Now this thing is not intense at all, but it is absolutely just fun. It does have a rattle, but if you put that aside, the layout is yes boring and probably the only reason I think this is underrated is because I rode it like 20 times during the three days I was at Great America but I just think it's just fun and now at the number one spot we've got my former favorite roller coaster Raging Bull at Six Flags Great America now most people except Airtime Thrills thinks this is the worst B&M hyper, but I think it's a really good ride. I have ridden two B&M hypers, Silver Star at Europa Park and Raging Bull, and I prefer Raging Bull by a long shot. It has plenty airtime for anybody's needs, and if you ride it over and over, you get even more airtime. And it actually has a unique layout, unlike the out-and-back boring hypers everywhere else. Anyway, that's my top five most underrated coasters in my opinion. What are some roller coasters you think are underrated? And thanks to the boys Thrills for suggesting this video. That's all for today, hope you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And keep riding roller coasters. Bye!